The Chicago Harbor Lighthouse is an automated active lighthouse, and stands at the south end of the northern breakwater protecting the Chicago Harbor, to the east of Navy Pier and the mouth of the Chicago River. History The light was constructed in 1893 for the World's Columbian Exposition and moved to its present site in 1919. The United States Lighthouse Board prominently displayed its state-of-the-art wares and engineering achievements. Prominently featured was the engineering marvel of spectacle reef light and a 111-foot-tall skeletal cast-iron lighthouse tower. Also displayed at the exposition were a number of Fresnel lenses, including a stunning third-order Fresnel lens which was awarded first prize at a Paris glass exhibition. The lens featured alternating red and white panels, and had been ordered for installation in the New Point Loma Lighthouse in California. The coincidental conclusion of construction of the new Chicago Harbor Light and the close of the exhibition prompted the Lighthouse Board to keep the lens in Chicago, and thus the lens was installed in the lantern room of the new tower. The original lens has since been removed, and is now on display at Cabrillo National Monument in California. Surrounded by riprap, the structure has several levels a concrete base and two red roofed buildings with a tapered white cylinder between them, which is topped by a parapet and the light itself. In 1917 the breakwater was renovated. At that time, the lighthouse was moved to its present site, and its attached fog signal room and boathouse were built. The design is unique, similar to that of the offshore spark plug towers, but this tower is taller. Except for the additions made at the time of the move, it bears some resemblance to the Rock of Ages light near Isle Royale on Lake Superior, which is its contemporary. The lighthouse was listed on the National Register of Historic Places on July 19, 1984, and later was designated a Chicago landmark on April 9, 2003. In 2005, the light was declared excess by the Coast Guard. It was offered at no cost to eligible entities, including federal, state, and local agencies, non-profit corporations, and educational organizations under the provisions of the National Historic Lighthouse Preservation Act of 2000. After an unusually long delay, United States Secretary of the Interior Kenneth Salazar initiated transfer to the city of Chicago on February 24, 2009. The city had designated the lighthouse a Chicago landmark on April 9, 2003. The lighthouse's significant role in the development of Chicago is commemorated in a relief sculpture, entitled The Spirit of the Waters, located near the LaSalle Street entrance of Chicago City Hall. <laughs> Preservation efforts Illinois has two well-known and historic light stations in the Chicago area, plus two pierhead lights. The Chicago Department of Water maintains lights on each of its four water intake cribs. Chicago has no area lighthouse preservation group, and this light has been the primary beneficiary of attention on preservation attention. However, Illinois and Indiana pierhead lights may need defense against demolition in the future. The Calumet Harbor Light, just across the border in Indiana, was demolished in 1995. <laughs> Seeing the light The light is an active aid to navigation, and no access is permitted. A good view of the lighthouse may be had from Navy Pier, especially at the end of the pier. Better views can be had by boat, including the various tour boats in the area.